Arana Mink provides a regal setting for the third jewel in America's triple crown of golf. To club officials, the staging of the 1962 National Championship of the Professional Golfers Association of America augurs the most significant event in the 62-year history of the course, and they're determined to make it the finest ever played. Separate the seven front runners. A little lens clowning on the part of Big John Barnum, Big Big George Bear, and what's left of little Gary Player helps ease the tension. Gary's antics here are unnecessary. The South African who wears all black to feel strong flexed a blazer. The 147-pound player said that he doesn't like being in the lead. As he prepares to hold his advantage, Gary hands it up with a great show of confidence. Player who hasn't tasted victory on the United States tour in over 15 months sends his first shot winging down the tree-lined first fairway. Bob Golby, PGA abandoned five years ago as Player and Golby continue their head-to-head -head battle. Here's Player rolling one five feet past the pin. With Golby already holed out in regulation figures, Player again needs this putt for his par. The emotion-packed drama was never greater as player studies the contour of the green. The putter that he had used only once earlier this year again becomes the most important club in his bag. He strokes. And the ball just curls in the side door. And player is still two shaky strokes in front of Goldie. In earnest again. By the 12th, Golby has narrowed the gap to just two strokes. Golby is on in two. Player studies the shot ever so carefully. Then with a bold touch, lofts the ball greenward. The ball takes the roll perfectly and stops just six feet from the hole. His challenger safely puts away. African Gary Player has been charging the pins all afternoon. Again, he strokes boldly. And from the look on his face, you know that the ball is hanging on the lip of the cup, just a blade of grass away from a birdie three. It took him just 69 shots to complete his third round, and the dazzling little shot maker takes the tournament lead with a 2 8 ...of this putt. Gary looks it over. Then... Bangs it cupward. The ball drops for a hard-earned par four, and player hangs on doggedly to his two-stroke lead. Very costly. Gary rockets the shot greenward. It catches the fat part of the green, and Gary is safely on, but some 50 feet from the pin. Easily gets his par, and now it's Golby's turn. In earnest again. By the 12th, Golby has narrowed the gap to just two strokes. Golby is on in two. Player studies the shot ever so carefully. Then, with a bold touch, lofts the ball greenward. The ball takes the roll perfectly and stops just six feet from the hole. His challenger safely puts a Player goes for the pin on his third shot. It just clears the edge of the trap, and he's 20 feet away from his par. Golby hit a powerful second blow and landed in the trap. Gary calmly hits it down the middle, and player's 70th stroke of the day, and 278th of the tournament wins the coveted PGA Championship. Player seems drained of all energy as he faces the wild enthusiasm of photographer's gallery and is then greeted by his wife, Vivian.
Larry Player becomes the first resident of a foreign country ever to win the PGA. For doing it, he receives the Rodman Wanamaker Trophy from PGA President Lou Strong, and most important, the biggest PGA check ever, $13,000. One of the hardest fought of all PGA championships is now a matter of history, but we doubt if the thousands of fans at a 